You were right that day about there being something between Joey and I. Only it wasn't coming just from her side. So she did make a move on you? I'm talking from the start. I had feelings for her. I mean, wasn't it a little bit revealing that I wanted her to stay here? Reeves, I don't know why I feel the need I have to justify all this to you, but can't me telling you that I want to be with Joey, can't that just be enough? I just don't understand how it happened. What changed you? Well, I don't think I have changed. I think this must have always been part of who I am. And you realise this when, when Joey finally hit on you? If anybody made the first move, it was me. If you must know. Ruby, neither of us planned this. I just fell for her. And to be honest, I didn't think I stood a chance. But it's happening. And it would be really great if you could be happy for us. Or at least happy for Charlie. So what, you're a couple now? Yeah, we are. I'm sorry. I can't believe it. I am trying, but I just can't. This is really happening, Rubes. I know that you might not be ready to embrace it right now, but I really need you to support me anyway. Are you going to tell Dad Morag? Eventually, yeah. I'm still adjusting to it myself, so I'll tell everyone else when I'm ready. So you want me to keep this massive secret all to myself? No, we'll tell Leah when she gets back because she lives here, but I wanted you to be the one who knows because you're the person that matters the most to me. And hey, there's an upside. From now on, when Joey stays over, you won't have to share your room oh, with me. Oh, okay, whoa. <laughs> That is so too much information. <laughs> oh, okay. I've got to get back to school, but um, I don't know. I guess I'll get used to the idea. <laughs> I guess I will too. <laughs> That went okay in the end. You think? Ruby was the easy one to tell. All right, tonight I would like you to create a visual representation of the thematic concerns in Chapter 8. Yeah. Excuse me, would you like to tackle Chapter 9 as well? No, Mr. Copeland. Yeah, Mr. Smith has arrived. Are you setting up in room 12? Okay, so I come now or shall I just wait? No, 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 just wait till the bell goes, then make your way over. You should have at least ten minutes to get ready, okay? Okay. Trey. The inspector would like to interview you first, in the presence of your father, of course, then Mr. Copeland and Miss Phillips. Got any questions? No, sir. I'm sure I don't have to remind you, you'll be expected to tell the truth. Absolutely, sir. Hey, where does your boyfriend get off? Who's gonna let me take the blame for his psycho brother? You're the psycho, Trey. Just leave me alone. Oh, yeah, you can dish it out, but you can't take it, eh, hey, Buckton? Hey, if you lose the keys, Martha's got a spare set. Her number's beside the till. Oh, Colleen, I'm trying to get ready to go. Can't it wait? No, no, I can't wait, and that's the very reason I'm here. Oh, sorry, mate, I'll catch you later, eh? I've been awake half the night worrying about this trip of yours, and while I can understand why you want to be there for Duncan, I don't think you realise the trouble it's going to cause leaving us in the lurch like this. You can't possibly expect me to be cook, a waitress, a babysitter all at once. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm no longer a spring chicken. Colleen, if you'd just pull your head in for a minute. I heard you loud and clear last night, and I've been doing a bit of thinking too. I've called in the cavalry. Oh, so you've come to your senses and found Irene. I've been on the blow, but not to Irene. Who then? You'll find out soon enough. The thing I was going to say was in my head, and now it's all gone. We'll just tell them the truth. Exactly as it happened, yeah? I'm just not very good at this sort of thing, that's all. What sort of thing? Interviews? Dealing with authority. Christy, I'm serious. I just, I just get all nervous and I'm rabbiting on about things that are completely irrelevant and then I realise I'm talking way too much. Miles, it's okay. Just get a grip. We're still in with a chance, yeah? So we just need to go in there believing that. I think it's true. I think Joey probably will be good for Charlie. So what's the problem? 
I know this is gonna sound really awful. But right now I kind of feel like I've just lost my sister. <laughs> She's gonna be different now. I don't want her to be. Everything has changed so much in our lives, especially with Dad. And I just want things with me and Charlie to stay the same. Hey, it will be. It's just, it's just a new phase, that's all. So where is he? Where's your boyfriend today? He's not here, OK? Well, don't be sad. You can do better than him anyway. I'm yours any time, to say the word. How about two words, Trey? Drop dead. I like my women a little older. Maybe I'll call your sister instead. She's a total babe. Clearly, I'm not in a position to do anything about it at the moment. I want to see both of you in my office first thing tomorrow morning. I think it's fairly obvious what's gone on here. Mr Palmer, in my experience, conflicts of this nature are very rarely clear-cut. Oh, come on. Clearly, Copeland's encouraged the boy to intimidate my son before the interview. Of course. Is it? You're his guardian, aren't you? Yes, but as if I'm going to tell Josh. Oh, save it for the inspector. I'm sure he'll be fascinated to hear all about it. Next time on Home and Away. It's great to see. We just didn't expect you, that's all. If they do side with Trey, it'll just confirm every story he said about us. You dislocated a student's arm. It's going to be very hard for the department to look past that. Who's this? It's Trey. It doesn't look anything like him. This is like gold. Do you think Belle blames you or Jeff? Maybe that's why she doesn't want to see us. I let them down, so no, I don't exactly feel like seeing anyone right now. Not everybody's judging you as harshly as you're judging yourself. If you want your stepdad to give you some respect, then you're going to need to come clean.